Good morning, everybody. Well, it's 2 o'clock. I can't say good morning anymore, but I thought I would share. There's the concept and the pattern I came up with on my own, and this is what I have so far. It's going to be a, a black-toned kitty cat with the blue sky and green grass below him, and um, I'm still working on it. I broke it down into components. Um, everybody was saying do the flip and trim method but I have pieces going in so many different directions on here but I can sew like all of these components together and then this is a straight seam I can sew all of these three components together and then on the long seam here I can sew those together then I can sew This is where it gets a little iffy. I can sew these two together. And then I'll sew these components together up to there. And then I'll work on these two, this triangle, and then I can work it sewing that to that, that to that, that to that. And then I can do this long seam here. And uh, then add this sections here and then do this long section here. So it's coming along, it's quite time consuming, um, but I'm, I'm really interested in it. And you can see that when you're piecing it, you get the reverse of the original pattern because you sew from the printed side. So like you put your fabric on the back side and sew it so that when, um, when you get a section done, it's the reverse. Like this is number four. So like four is in like that. But when I have to put it on the paper, this side is actually going to be on that side. And this flips over and goes back in like that. Or no, yeah. Is that right side up? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's coming along I'll show you what a mess it makes I'm going to cover you up because I don't want to make you dizzy and you can see I'm going to end up oh come on focus 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 I'm going to end up with a lot of little bits and pieces I'm trying to think of some way to use all these little narrow trimmings if anybody's got an idea I've seen where some people will just like have like a base fabric and they'll just sew across these and just add them in and sew across. I don't know. I'll come up with something. I just thought maybe these would make an interesting journal cover if I can figure out a way to sew them together. I could put them down on fusible interfacing if I put them, you know, kind of overlapping each other so that the fuse doesn't get on my iron. Oh, and I'm using my little, um, little iron and this is what I've got left to do, all these pieces here. I've got to piece all of those. So I'm over half done. I've got a few, few more to go, so I'm going to get back to it. But I thought I would share this, and I will add what it looks like when I get it done after a while. Bye. All right, I said I'd come back and give you the uh, reveal so here was the pattern that I drew up by hand by myself and here's the result um, his tail went a little wonky but I think that just gives him more character and uh, I think it really turned out cute Scott says she, he thinks it's a Siamese cat but then it would be white well it's a new breed a new breed of Siamese <laughs> So, anyway, that's what I have done, frankly, all day long. Now, I got to go in and take all this paper out. The paper's all still in there. I'm almost tempted to leave it to give it some stability while it's traveling. I'll put it to my quilt group if they think it would be better if I waited until it got back to me to remove all the paper. Because in the round robin, each lady that receives it, and I think there's five or six of us, they'll add a border, the width of their choice. 
so whatever they want to add to it. One will add a, add a border and mail it to the next one and then the next one will add a border and add a border and when it comes back to me it won't look like this anymore and I'll share it with y'all when it comes back. How about that? So anyway I think it turned out really really cute. I'm happy with it. What do y'all think? And this is what Vita Day 9 because today is my nephew Drake's birthday and he just graduated from um, Naval Officer Training. So awesome. School. Officers Candidate School. Cool. Very proud of him. So we'll let y'all go. That's and cute. Scott says it's stinking cute. There's no higher level of cuteness than stinking cute. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.